Hey guys, Alex here from Kingsway bringing you the next video in our uh, broadcast mixing for churches series here. Uh, in this video we're going to be looking at the keys and tracks a little bit. Um, as far as media goes, we can talk about it. I, I don't really do much to the media channel. Um, I don't usually record the media channel, so I don't have any audio to really play for that, but um, can just kind of go over my thoughts and, and whatnot. Um, so let's just solo just the tracks and keys here. Let me make sure we're in a good spot. Uh, okay. Uh, let's hear what that sounds like. So it just gives you an idea what they, they kind of sound like. Um, the keys, uh, we don't use like a main stage rig or anything like that. Uh, we have a Nord stage piano that we use every week. Um, so I really don't mess with these settings a whole lot. Um, really just trying to make it fit in the mix. So again, it is stereo, um, two channels panned hard left and right. Um, just gives it a really nice stereo feel. Um, they do have a pad in there as well. Um, they control the level between their piano and, and pad. So usually towards the end of service, when we're not using tracks as much, they'll blend in a little bit more of the pad sounds. Um, but on here, it's going to be mostly piano. That reverb that you're hearing is some of the room verb that's on it. It just helps it sit in the mix a little bit better. So not doing a whole lot. Um, there was just some ringing going on here in the top end of the Nord. Um, just cut that out and then just doing a little bit more tone shaping um, and some compression on that. Um, the tracks are pretty much the same. They're, they're getting compressed a decent amount just to help them fit in the mix, but I'm just taking out some harshness, really. Um, I, I sit down, I mentioned in one of the earlier videos, but I sit down with our tracks computer and just play it through our system and just kind of mix and level out some of the tracks a little bit um, and maybe do some light EQ and compression actually in Ableton um, so that, you know, because we only have the stereo channels left and right, um, it just gives me a little bit more control to do that beforehand and then I can just bring up the overall volume as I need it. Um, so the tracks sound like this. So as you can see, they're getting a pretty decent amount of compression um, just because there's usually so much going on in there. I like to keep that a little bit tighter. Um, it just kind of helps the tracks sit in the mix a little bit. Um, so they are being outputted to their respective buses. So there is a keys bus, um, which is just doing, you know, a little bit more processing. And a tracks bus, which is pretty much just getting outputted to the Shep's Omni channel, um, just for some saturation and stuff like that. Um, as far as media goes, um, so we do have... Uh, a media left and right, which is coming from our Pro Presenter computer, um, sent to our sound system over Dante. Um, SSL channel, it's just taking out some of the top end. Some of it, when it comes through, it just sounds like they got a little, I don't know, they're a little crispy. I guess we could put it that way. So we are compressing them a little bit. They come in pretty hot. Um, just taking out some of that top end. Um, the biggest thing with the media is I, I typically don't really move them from this position like i said so we have these vcas down here that i mentioned in the other video um i'm actually i'm gonna put the mouse up here i have our fader port turned on you can't see it but if i grab that fader here um i'm bringing that up so usually at the beginning of service um we have our pre-service music going on our playlist is playing so at that point I'm just bringing everything down except for that media VCA. And it's just, 
um, media that's playing. And then as things start to happen, so our the beginning of our service um, always starts with people using the pastor handheld mics. Um, there's either one or two uh, service hosts or, um, you know, that we, we call them service hosts. They kind of intro everybody, welcome people online. Um, so that's kind of always the first thing. The band will start to play a little bit behind them. So as that's happening, you know, as we're getting to the end of there's a countdown video, That'll kind of fade out on its own, so I don't necessarily always do a fade on that myself because there's other things I have to kind of get set up. Um, towards the end of the countdown, I'll start to bring the rooms up a little bit. And then with the VCAs down, I'm going to bring the pastor's mics, you know, especially if there's two people, I'll bring those pastor's mics up to begin with. So that they're live over here, but they're still not passing any audio through because the VCA is down. And sometimes we usually just leave both those pastor mics on um, so that if, you know, especially for worship nights and stuff, people can just grab them and come up and start talking. Um, so sometimes I don't know which one they're going to they're going to grab. So I'll just even if it's one person, I'll just put them both up and then. You know, I'll start to fade the rooms in when there's maybe like 10 seconds left. And then as soon as that gets to zero, I have my pastor VCA at zero. That tends to be the good spot for it. And then I'll fade in the band a little bit here. Um, again, I want to make sure I can hear the preacher um, or whoever's speaking to be, you know, right at the forefront. I'll bring our reverb and delay up a little bit just so I'm ready for it. Not that anything really needs it at that point. Um... And then as soon as that person starts talking, I'll come back over here um, to where the actual mics are and determine if they're using Pastor A or Pastor B. If they're using Pastor A, I'll go over and just pull Pastor B down. And then at that point, when they're done, I'm coming back over here to my VCAs and using our fader port. I can then fade up the band and the instruments and everything, bring up the room to Unity, and then I can bring the media and the pastor down and the reverb and delay I usually keep somewhere about there. Um, at this point too, I would already have, so um, usually whoever's leading the first song will give a little bit of an introduction. So I will make sure beforehand that I'm already set up so that if vocal two is leading the first song, that they're already at a decent level so that when I bring up their VCAs over here, they're already set to go um but that's just a you know kind of got off from the key there wasn't as much to talk about with the keys and stuff so just wanted to take this time to talk about some of the transitions and stuff like that that's again feeding into the um distraction free um worship that we're trying to go for you know by managing those transitions and being ready for them beforehand um it just kind of makes things smooth a lot smoother just flows a little bit better um you know we've all had times where you know that pastor comes up and starts talking and their mic's not on and then we're scrambling to get them on and it just it's a little clunky it happens to everybody it happens to me um but really trying to mitigate some of that from happening so always kind of thinking one step ahead and using the vcas so that i can stage things um that aren't necessarily going to be um, you know, if my, if my pastor VCA is down, it doesn't matter what I do over here because the audio is not getting passed through. So that's my way of being able to stage this and say, all right. Um, and the way that we have the gain structure set up, I set it up purposely so that their usual level is somewhere around unity. Um, and that's just for a memory thing that I know that if I have them set at unity, I'm in a good spot so that they're not too soft, too quiet. And then I can adjust from there. So at this point, I have those mics ready. Um, but then they're not actually passing through until I go and bring up my pastor VCA fader. And then they're ready. And then if they're still a little quiet, I can come over here and push this up. Again, bring this mic down if they're not using it. But it's all about thinking ahead to the next transition. So at this point, you know, the band's starting to play a little bit bef behind the pastor or whoever's speaking in the beginning. So at this point, I'm determining, okay, the first song, this person's leading, you know, maybe it's vocal one. So at this point, I'm bringing vocal two down because maybe they were leading the last song of the previous service. And I'm bringing up vocal one 
as kind of a preparation. They're not speaking right now, but I'm kind of prepared so that again for that transition, now the pastor's done, I can bring the pastor's mics down and fade up to unity on my VCAs and then we're pretty much set at that point. It's not always perfect, but again, it's just about getting out in front and using the tools that you, you know, planning center and all that kind of stuff to be prepared. Um, so you don't have to, you know, miss transitions and stuff like that. That's the most important thing. Um, if your broadcast mix is good, but you can't hit your transitions, it's still going to be distracting and it's going to cause people to kind of tune out or, um, you know, lose interest in your stream if there's a lot of audio issues and stuff like that. So, uh, people would rather listen to maybe not the best mix, but if you hit all your transitions and it's not awkward or clunky, they would rather listen to that than a perfect mix where you're missing every transition. So, um, that's definitely kind of on the forefront with that. Um, yeah. So again, not a whole lot going on with, with, keys and tracks and media and stuff which is kind of why I went off onto some of the other stuff um in the next video we'll start talking about um our vocals and how we're going to blend the vocals and um some of the processing that we're doing um how we're using tuning and all that kind of stuff um so yeah that's all I got for this video uh stay tuned for the next video <laughs>